Hey guys, it's Melissa Martini on behalf of designbundles.net. Today we're going to be talking about importing digital papers into Silhouette. For this tutorial, we're going to be using the back to school digital papers from the Crafters Delight Bundle. The first thing you want to do is go to File, Import, Import to Library. And then you'll find your papers that you're using. And just double click them. And you'll see here that it's imported into your library. Now what you're going to want to do is take this and pull it over to your Patterns folder. So you can just drag that over. And now when we select our Patterns folder, let me go ahead and enlarge this so you can see a little better. We're going to see the paper here. If you click on it, you can edit the properties. You can add keywords, that way you're able to find it when you're searching for it. You can give a description, an artist, you can write where you purchase it, that way you have your own notes about where the license and such comes from. And once you put all these notes in, just hit close and next time that you click on that paper, it will show up. So to access your pattern, you're gonna use the fill pattern icon. So let's just go back over here to our mats. And we are going to just type out school and let's give it a so let's choose this one because a little bit chunkier of a font now we're going to ungroup these and we'll select each letter we're going to go up here to our Patterns folder and then locate the pattern that we just imported into our library. So there's that one. This is another one from the bundle. So we can just alternate between the different ones or really mix and match by bringing in more papers. And then if you zoom in, you can see the pattern fill. Now you can also select the advanced options here. You're able to scale the pattern to make it larger or a lot smaller. You are able to tilt it. If you want to rotate it to go different directions. You can pan it by selecting the tool in the middle. and it will move it around. And you can also change the transparency of the pattern. If you want it to be not so bright and just kind of in the background, you can mess with those settings as well. Okay guys, that kind of covers how to import your digital papers into Silhouette Studio. Once again, these particular papers are found in the Crafters Delight Bundle on designbundles.net. If you just scroll down to take a look through all of the files included, you'll find them right here, the back to school digital papers. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos.